as you can see, I've drawn up some questions on my Amsterdam Airport Hotel piece of paper. And the first one is, which airlines did you fly? I flew from Incheon to Dubai, Dubai to Amsterdam on Emirates. And then from Amsterdam to Frankfurt on Lufthansa. And then from Frankfurt to Calgary. And now very soon, in about two hours, I'm going to fly to Edmonton, also on Air Canada. Which one was the best and why? I'm going to be honest, Emirates was the best airline so far. They had absolutely the best seats available. Even though I was in the middle, the seats were large and comfy and plush and roomy. Plush means that it was like soft and, and pillowy and very, very comfortable. Uh, roomy, of course, means it's big and comfortable, has enough space for me. So it's just, it seemed like a luxury seat. It seemed like a first class seat in Air Canada, even though it was economy class. The worst one, oh, that's a tie between the Thanza and Air Canada. I'd say Lufthansa, just because they made me put my, uh, my carry-on bag in the cargo hold because they overbooked the flight, so it was not enough space. Right, the seats, the, the padding was really thin, really, really thin. Same as Air Canada. But Lufthansa was extra thin. The Emirates was really thick and soft and comfortable. Boy, was it nice. So the best one was Emirates, and I would fly them again in a heartbeat. And uh, I probably will try not to fly the Danza again, but they're a bit cheaper. Third question. What was the coolest thing you saw in the Netherlands? I'm going to be honest here. I saw some very, very cool stuff. But the coolest thing, strangely, was a windmill. My cousin, well, I guess technically he's my cousin's husband, but my cousin took me to a windmill nearby his house, a working windmill. And they were allowed to go inside and up to the, almost to the top. Very soon there'll be a video about that. And the working of the in windmill is absolutely incredible. It's all made of wood, a little bit of metal. And uh, when the windmill's turning outside, from, from a distance, it doesn't look like it's going that fast. But when you're up top, like just meters, like two or three meters away from, from the fans, the, uh, you can hear the turning of the windmill and you can hear the power that's generating it was really cool and then you see it turning inside everything's turning and there are little bands and pulleys so the windmill turns this way and it turns a, a crank and it, uh, something else turns and it turns this way and there are pulleys so everything's turning each other and finally it grinds uh, wheat and uh, in the video that I'm going to post a little bit later you will see that uh, the grinding of the wheat and the, all the wheat they sell. So they put in, uh, I guess, the wheat or the seeds onto a kind of stone. Another stone is on top and the windmill turns it eventually and the turning crushes all the wheat or, or the seeds into a powder. And that is what they, uh, they package and sell still to this day. And the, uh, I guess the, the miller, the windmill owner or operator, is, in this case is called the miller, because he's making wheat. Yeah, he explained to my cousin exactly how they do things and uh, it's pretty cool. But that'll be in, in one of the next videos. So that was the coolest thing. Although there are many cool things. The, uh, the waterways, I kind of like the, uh, the bridges that go up to let the boats pass and then they come down. That was pretty cool. Then there's the Afsluteik. Afsluteik, uh, I can never say it properly which is a 33 kilometer long dike in the, uh, in the ocean, basically. And uh, all the old buildings, everything was cool. But the coolest thing, strangely or not strangely, the coolest thing was the windmill. The fourth question that nobody asked when I made up myself is, what was the coffee or the bread like? The coffee was delicious, but very tiny. As you can see here in Canada, I've got my Tim Hortons coffee, which is a little bit less delicious, but extremely large. As an aside, I also got myself a Raisin Bran muffin. So the bread was absolutely fantastic, baked fresh every day, crispy outside, soft and chewy inside. 
I suspect that the Montreal bagel is going to be exactly the same when, uh, but in bagel form as the, uh, as the Netherlands bread. Absolutely fantastic. And, oh, I don't have the box here, but uh, the bread with hagoslag, hagoslag is extremely good. Oh, just like being a kid again. I really love it. So almost every morning I had hagoslag. So I rode a lot and maybe lost a bit of weight, but then I had the hagoslag and maybe gained it back. But that is okay. I was happy. All right, those are the four questions that nobody asked and uh, hopefully we'll get some more questions later this week. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye.